Right, uh, we are done with login and register functions and now we can get to application once our user is logged in. Um, just make sure to enable the auto login, you go to scene delegate and uncomment this auto login function call, otherwise it's not gonna auto login by default. And the next thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to proceed and build the application and we are going to start with uh, our profile view. So let me quickly show what we are building and we can talk about it and proceed with the user interface. So I have here running the ready application and here we have a table view and uh, the, the top area is one cell here with some content inside with the background so we can make this nice curve and we have the second area this is divided into four sections this is section one which contains only one cell the about me part is section two which contains again one cell and we have my work and education this is another section contains two cells here and my basic info is section number four which contains five cells here so we are going to create a table view controller so um, now we have this top bar controller I'm going to select the second item the bottom one and uh, as you can see here we are going to have four tabs and we are working on this uh, settings area which is our profile so let's select this button over here it's called item number two and we are going to start from changing this into a gear icon so to do that you can come here change the title and you can see here in our application we have no titles so I can just delete this and the image is gonna be gear and you will get this from uh, system which is SF symbols and if you just type gear it's going to give you this option and you can see uh, next to it it says system so this is a part of SF symbols and it comes pre-installed with Xcode and uh, it's provided by Apple so you can have uh, all iOS applications can have similar look and feel to them so once we have set this um, what we need to do is to replace this view controller because currently it's a UI view controller you can see the class here but we uh, we need a UI table view controller so if I delete this one now you just select select it backspace and it will delete it then we can uh, click on a plus okay it looks like uh, Xcode has a bug here with uh, which is our demo version uh, beta version so let's uh, let's close it and just reopen right and now it's working okay so we need a table view controller you can type table and make sure you choose this yellow one and once we place it in our uh, storyboard here I am going to make it nice align it now we can uh, select our navigation control that we hide control drag to our table view and then I'm, I want to say that this wants to be the root view controller. So this is the root view controller of our navigation controller. And since for this design, the internals of our application, let me just get you the red application here. The internals of our, our application is, you can see it has a white background. Um, what I'm going to do here in our storyboard, we are going to change it from dark mode to light mode it will make easier to design our application because this is how the end result will look like so we have our table view and uh, let's start from setting a title here I can select the top area and under our uh, attribute inspector you can just say profile as the title and then you can select the table view itself and by default it has dynamic prototypes as content in order to have different sections and uh, custom design you need to set it to static cells once you do it 
it will be given three default cells here and only one section. You can see that on the left panel here on our view hierarchy, so we have a table view, a section, and then we have three cells inside. You can click on them and you can see they are selected here. So remember the top uh, section had only one cell and the second section also had one cell and section uh, number three had three cells and section number four had four or five cells. So let's select our table view and here you can see the number of sections is set to one. Now I want to make it number to four. You can set it by clicking number or you can increment or decrement it. So now we have four sections. So let's go to section number one. You can see here also we have created four sections and each one has three cell now. I'm going to select sections section number one cell three delete it delete the section uh, cell two and now we have only one cell in section one and let's focus on this one right now so i'm going to change the size of this cell and because it's going to be quite big we have to put a lot of information inside so let's go to our measurements inspector here and the row height I'm going to set it to 200. Let's zoom in so we can work on it. I'm going to close this down here. Um, actually 200 looks like a bit small. Let's change this one to 450. I was looking on a wrong number. So we need a 450 height and the width currently it's stuck with iOS 11 Pro and this is what we keep. So jumping here, you can see what we have. We have an image view, a label, another label and three buttons. And of course a background view so we can change this uh, curve. So let's start from the background view because it goes behind it. I'm going to drag out a view. Let's scroll down and you will see this white view here. Let's drag it out and since the background and the view itself are white, it's quite hard to work with it. So let's change the view color to something like light gray. And this view I'm going to position it inside my cells content view and we're going to give it a constraints. And the constraints I'm going to give, let's just make the positioning correct. So we have X zero, Y zero. Width and height should be 450, the same size as our uh, white area, our content view. So this is gonna be full background of our uh, cell. So now we need to add uh, auto layout constraints and we basically say we want to, to touch all four borders and we hit enter. Now we have all white, uh, all blue lines as our guides, which is correct. And the next thing we need is an image view. Now let's drag this out and put somewhere in the middle of our view using the blue guidelines. And then I'm going to use my measurements for my ready application to position it properly where we need it. So select image view, go to measurements and the X, we are going to put it in the middle and Y we said 60. So it's 60 points from the top and the width and height are gonna be 200. So let's put 200 here and 200 here and now I can position this thing inside in the middle of horizontally in the middle and it's red because currently it's not horizontally in the middle if I drag a little bit on the right you can see now it's on the middle and then at the top we want to set it to be 60 points I move it a little bit while I was changing the 
place and width and height we want to keep it so we set 60 on top width and height 200 now you can see we have all blue guidelines so we know where this view will go on the runtime and then we need a label two of them in fact which are going to go under our image view and let's just select the image view and set the image which is I think called avatar from our assets and our avatar image is round so you can see the nice round area here we don't have to change the image view itself for now but later on when we are going to set our custom images which are not round we are going to make them round before we set them so it's always going to be nice and round there um, now for our label I'm going to change the font and this is gonna be custom and let's go and make this anywhere and let's change the size let me just check how many points okay we have 25 points so let's go here and set it to 25 hit enter and another thing we need to do is center it and make it bigger so remember command equals make the label the size of the text we have set and then we use the blue guidelines to set it where we want and uh, this is gonna be the name and age of our user and then I'm going to copy this command C command V and position this underneath with the only one difference is this one gonna be much smaller so let's change the size to be 15 points okay and then I say command equals again to make it the size correctly and we are going to use the blue guidelines again to position it once we have these two we can set our constraints and um, let's go to our measurements here so we can see what we are setting select the first one and we are going to set from the top I'm going to put eight points and eight points left and right and the bottom I want to make only two points but if I put it now because you see it recognizes 147 so it doesn't understand that this, this label is underneath because it's so close it's going even under our title so that's why we are not going to set this for now we can set the height though and once you click you can see all the blue guidelines and now we move this name and age which is uh, we need to rename this it's gonna be city country and this one is gonna be eight points not eight sorry two points on top left right eight and the height is going to be 21 points so this one is also set and uh, we have all blue guidelines we are ready to go now we need to set uh, three buttons so let's grab a button here and I'm going to copy and paste them the first button it's easier to start with the one in the middle because uh, once we have the middle button it's easier to set up the left and the right one because in the middle we uh, it's easier to set the constraints so I want this to be in the middle of my view I add one constraint here and uh, still around is red because it doesn't know the size and uh, the other positions so um, let's position it a little bit higher from the pop bottom so I'm going to set this to, let me check, uh, 20 points from the bottom. And now we have our blue guidelines all around. I'm going to delete the button name and instead we are going to put an image. So this one is called camera if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And now we have this camera icon here. 
let's do the same thing with this button and this is the settings and then we have this edit button so let's get rid of this button title and set this to uh, settings and now we can position it on the left side of our camera button and if I check my sizes here let's see the right we have 20 points so we can set that we want it to be 20 points away from our view and we want to maintain width and height so if I add these constraints it has all the constraints uh, but still some uh, some of them are red so we don't have full uh, proper constraints where it should be on the runtime so if I put 10 points actually no this is not what we want we want them to be centered on the same level so we can just drag uh, control drag from one view to another one say center vertically so they are going to be on the same axis here and finally just copy and paste a second button and put it on the right side and this one is going to be our edit so let's right edit and this one gonna be again 20 points on the left width and height I think we already have these constraints because we have copied it uh, let me just check no we don't so let's um, let's set width and height to 20 point uh, to 80 points and finally we need to set them to be on the same vertical line so now we have all these uh, three buttons set nicely and on the top we have our image view and our labels